Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video for Friday, March 11th. Ah, it's a cloudless sky. Beautiful weekend coming up. And quite frankly, next week looks pretty benign in terms of weather around here, which is good because it's spring break for a lot of folks. Let's check some of the sky cam shots. First off, coming from Trussville, a cloudless sky. Beautiful out there. Readings mostly in the mid to upper 50s, about where they should be, or where we expected them to be. They should be in the middle 60s based on averages. Go down to uh, Demopolis. Boy, the Tom Bigby is running very high. All of that excessive rain we had a few days ago is coming down the river. The river is expected to crest there about eight feet above flood stage tomorrow. And, of course, you know where that water is going. Yeah, Gulf of Mexico and all oh, the spring break crowds are showing up. Oil is gone. Beaches are pristine. The sky is sunny. Not a cloud in the sky. Got to love it. And next week down there looks great if you're headed down to the Gulf Coast. We'll check the uh, water vapor satellite shot. The big trough is well to the east, the axis, and accordingly, uh, we'll start to warm up this weekend. And today, not bad. Uh, readings, again, about where we forecast them to be, uh, varying from 54 at Gadsden to 61 at Montgomery. These are 2 o'clock, Birmingham at 55, Tuscaloosa at 60, and around the nation. Still pretty cold up in Canada. Looks like it's... Uh, about zero up there in the core of that cold air, but uh, notice the warmer air spreading up through Texas and the plains, and that's the kind of air we will enjoy in coming days. And up on the watch warning map, about the biggest issue in the country is a blizzard in North Dakota. Got a blizzard warning up there, and other than that, things are pretty quiet across the great fruited plain. We'll check the 12Z GFS valid at uh, noon tomorrow. And you can see the energy that's producing the blizzard over North Dakota moving through the Great Lakes, way north of here. We'll be in great shape tomorrow. It will be mostly sunny and a uh, very comfortable day. We're expecting uh, highs at or over 70. Both the GFS and the NAM are showing 72. And the same deal on Sunday. Beautiful. Partly sunny. Low 70s are likely. A little rain north of here. Monday of next week, a little energy coming at us, and that could squeeze out a few showers. There's a look at Monday at noon. There's Monday night at midnight coming off the GFS, and that's kind of suggesting maybe the better chance of showers would be Monday evening. We'll check the European at the same time. Again, this is midnight Monday night. It's a little slower, but clearly the models are suggesting there will be a band of showers late Monday or Monday night. And then by Tuesday, it's long gone. Uh, no heavy rain, no severe weather. So again, Monday night, maybe a quarter inch of rain. Uh, Tuesday, we stay mild. No uh, cold air involved here. The uh, uh, high should stay up in the uh, mid to upper 60s. Wednesday, low to mid 70s are likely. The GFS is showing 73. And Thursday, how about 75 with a partly to mostly sunny sky? Yeah, and again, if you're, you know, if you're traveling next week, pick out your destination. Clearly, all across the deep south, weather's pretty similar. Mountains of Tennessee, Gulf Coast, if you're staying at home. And there's a week from today. You know, we, we earlier saw some evidence of maybe a decent rain event, but the models have really backed off on that. The GFS suggesting really nothing here, mid-70s. If there's a shower, wouldn't be much to that. In the following day, Saturday the 19th, I got a southwest flow of law, but the big trough is out west. It kind of ridge noses in here from the Gulf, and again, will be very mild. Highs way up in the 70s on the 19th, and uh, the bit better moisture feed is off to the west We'll check the end of the forecast on the 27th. Pretty good-looking trough there coming into West Texas, and that could be a relatively wet period. But, hey, this is voodoo. Let's look at the North Atlantic Oscillation. This maybe tells a better story. Uh-oh, look at that going negative down there at the bottom graph, far right. And, of course, we'll just have to see if that's going to be a sign. But, uh, you know, we always expect a late-season cold snap, and maybe that'll be the beginning of that. We'll see. Uh, but that is it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here, my next video by Monday morning at 7 o'clock. And uh, Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders, will have the uh, video updates both tomorrow and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.